Hmm. This all stars season carry weight. The drama is unending, really unending. At this point, I think White Money thinks or feels like his ego has been bruised. If I should tell you guys what White Money just did, ah, <laughs> this confirms it for me. This is what I think. I might be wrong, but this is what I think based on his actions lately he him not him not showing up for so many events and yesterday he showed up with this strange lady before i even get right into that strange lady white money deleted everything on his instagram and left just two posts one most recent post and in that most recent post white money introduced himself to remind us that he's the winner of big brother ninja shine your eye season six yes let's watch this video it's been a minute hustling on the streets has been tough paid my dues and now the winner of big brother niger shine your eye is white money in 2021 i conquered against all odds in 2023, I returned for the BB9 Year All Stars Edition. The experiences and learnings I hold there. And now, introducing a growing musical talent, creating melodies. I call it cool. Your favorite MC, host, and entertainer. Your celebrity chef, making delicacies with luxurious tastes. So guys, what do you think? Ah, when I see that and I laugh, that white money, what's going on? Wow, wow. <laughs> I think, I think the eviction really got to him, honestly. I think the way they booted him out of that house really, really got to him. I think he felt so embarrassed and all that. You know, white money is someone that prize himself there's a way he carries himself his, his his shoulder pads are always high you know i think that eviction really hits him hard and now mercy has sprayed pepper on his face so he's just dealing with let's say deal yeah he's he's addressing the issues one after the other he just reminded us that he's the winner of the all is he what's what's his name again shine your eyes season man of many talent he has accepted that he's a cook before why do you know what he hasn't been cooked he's a musician so he has accepted that he's a cook and all that and he just flashed his his cars and all that telling you that telling you guys that see if you like you drag him from now to tomorrow he's doing good way better than you are doing you know what i mean okay let's talk about white money trying to pepper mercy i already made a video on that so yesterday he surfaced for a very long time we didn't see him he just appeared in the all um all stars party with this bodyguard and this lady that we don't know i don't know the lady she's strange to me and she's new i've never seen her before not just that alone that alone yeah got people talking and uh, this morning people were saying she he came to the party with emergency girlfriend and all that white money did not stop at that <laughs> later on white money showed us a video of him and this lady shopping <laughs> sorry showed us a video of him and this lady shopping for is it food or fruit i don't know you can see the video on the screen shopping together and looking closely i noticed that a bag um pj that she's wearing so i don't know maybe it looks it, of course it's pj people want their pj to be um free on them but i know white money has this pj i think his own pj is kind of colorful it has a little bit color but it's a bag so i don't know if you can purchase a bag's pj anywhere because i know it's it's yeah it's a match that they give to the housemates i don't know if the lady got purchased hers or the lady is wearing white money's um a bag pj i have no idea but it showed up like that at this shopping this is fruit shopping area and then afterwards white money added more videos of him cooking and all that <laughs> so now i'm trying to get it straight 
is white money dating this lady this is something we're trying to figure out so he has you just reminded us that it's the winner and you always be the winner of shine your eyes season we've, we've gotten that i have gotten that but this lady that i want to know this lady is white money dating this lady because they said he hired the girlfriend <laughs> They said he hired the girlfriend. I don't know how true that is, but that's what you're saying. Anyways, I believe we'll get to find, find out some more with time. Let's move on to Adekule. Adekule got dragged yesterday. Oh, ha, not be smart. Adekule went on this. In- okay, he got he got dragged during the party. They were like, where is Venita and all that? People were not carrying rumor and gist and speculations. I will get to that. So Adekule went on this interview and they asked him about his relationship. This is what he has to say. Um, the next one goes. What is next for the Adenita ship? The next thing for the Adenita ship is to make money now that we're outside the Big Brother house. So you heard him. It's all about money for him right now. And from his response, a lot of people concluded that, see, I talk calm, relationship don't break. When they start telling you, let's focus on money and all that, that is the end. Otilo, I don't know. I don't know. Not just that alone. Yesterday, some people saw um, Venita hugging the Corus and she was crying. So people then formulated stories or made up stories and said she was crying because they could ignore that. <laughs> sorry i find it i find i find that to be very funny how can a grown-up cry <laughs> but that's what he said that this video you can see she was really crying that adequately ignored her that was why she was crying that the ship has crumbled i'm like okay that doesn't make sense but i don't know anything is possible but i don't believe that luckily luckily for us today Venita went on online went live with her fans on um instagram yeah she had a lot of support massive love over three 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 thousand people showed up for her massive love the comment section was quite positive honestly massive love if she has um um but how am I going to say? Genuine love for from her fans, yeah. I love that lady. I love her so much. I know no one is perfect. I love her, her creativity and everything. She's an insp- she's an inspiration to a lot of people. Okay. So when she went live, she spoke about other things. So she now said, you know what? Let her address the elephants in the room. <laughs> so of course, there's no way she would come online and, and act like she's she's not she's she's not aware of what's going on. Of course, she's aware of what the person saying. So she said, you know what? Let me address the elephant in the room and um let's watch this video but, uh, let me let me say the elephant in the room so and which is concerns to my personal business so one thing's one and those of you who watch the show Fanita, <laughs> those of you who watch the show i would have like really really watched the show you know there are some people who really like watch the 24 hour show follow the story all the way and there are those who watch on tv every time it comes on tv and um, those who watch on the go those who watch online only and um if for anybody catch this out please you can co-sign me here i have always said that my personal life is not something that i ever ever really speak on to be honest um so it's something i just don't speak on i've never spoken on it oh laura i've never spoken on it in my whole time it's not in my nature in my character to really speak if i'm in person with you i might have a conversation i might open up but it's not really what i like to do um i also said even when i you know got married nobody knew or understood the dynamics of my relationship or who the person was necessarily so it's not something that i like to do um for obvious reasons I, you know we are under a microscope and one thing that is constant in life is change and it's because you don't know anyway something is going to blow or happen it's best that you just tr- try and keep it private and protect your peace and you go you guys know about my peace child if it's, if it's, you know, going to upset my peace, I'm going to move out of the way. You know, I like my peace. I like to work hard. I like to play hard. I like to have fun. I like to engage, but I definitely like my peace. And um, peace is a very important thing to us all. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, 
yeah like i said if it's kind of like weird because you're like well you know vanita we saw you do everything on tv first of all you didn't see us do everything because i don't show you can't watch every single person all the time for 24 hours they interchange and secondly you know i'm inside a block like a building so i don't really see i don't know where the broadcast is reaching like it's, it's it, you can't see but when you come out and like you feel the eyes on you it's very different it is going to affect how you respond to things um definitely but definitely trying to keep it g and keep it true to me okay let me go to the questions you heard that this has been this has been Venita's language since she was in the house. She's a very private person. Even when she got married, people were people were shocked. Nobody knew that she was married. For me, she was one person that I watched for a very long time. And all of a sudden, I stopped seeing her in movies. I was always looking forward to her movies. After watching her on AY Scream, yes. What was her name? I forgot her name in that. Was her name V or Venita? I don't know. I can't remember her name in that um in that AY Scream. Then I was not seeing her in a lot of movies then back to back. All of a sudden she just disappeared. And that was when she got married. Yeah, and I saw her again in Big Brother when she came back to Big Brother. I'm like, what happened to you? Do you get? So she even made reference to um her marriage when she got married. People didn't even know, nobody even knew the face to the man. I didn't even know up until this time she came back and people dug up pictures and all that i had no idea who she got married to so she's just trying to say that she ha she is in the habit of keeping her stuff very private very very private extremely private so she's saying that you hear that now am i supposed to say everything they might be in a relationship they might be happy with each other going on but she does not feel she, she does not think she should come on here or wherever platform and explain her private life to anyone and her fans were like yes keep it private keep it private yes and she also spoke about friendship because someone was like which of the housemates are you friends with she said cc that she's spoken to cc she spoke a little bit about elebaya that she congratulated congratulated elebaya and she hugged her and all that but that she doesn't want to say make comments like people should not push her to say some certain things and all that yeah it was quite an interesting um what they call it interesting life um ig life to be honest with you she was talking about a whole lot of things that she's looking forward to doing and people were suggesting more to her oh do this we'll love you to do this next week she said she will be coming online with a playlist because her fans did request for a playlist so guys this is it what do you think about what our otami emia master is doing because i don't know for me if i decide to go with a gossip those who got sleeping and those who that like to like um a fine fault what quite money is doing is funny if i decide to look at it differently if i decide to not look at it that way and say okay maybe he's not aware of what's going on he just sprung up and um decides to delete stuff on his instagram and just reintroduce himself <sighs> but guys i cannot go with that honestly i can't because if i look back to how he was pissed when he left the house and him going on media runs and saying his his team duped him i'm not saying he didn't dupe him but you know and then not showing up it's it's it all seems like he's angry or something and now he's showing up with a girl just to prepare mercy i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys in another video bye, -bye.